Smith. We're Joe and Marta Smith, and we're farmers in southeastern Nebraska. And um, <clears throat> we're here to tell you a little bit about the way we learn to douse and, and the ways we use it and to help you. Now, some of you probably already douse, but we're going to treat this as though it were a beginning dousing class because some people don't know how to douse. So we're going to go through all the tools and, and help you with everything. Um, we feel like dowsing is a God-given ability. Actually, I believe that it's just an extended version of, the, of our senses. It's just something we have to learn to develop. Um, it's been known to humans since ancient times. Um, early humans used this ability without question. They found water, they found animals for food and clothing and all that. And um, I have a little bit of history here that I looked up and I was amazed at some of the facts. The oldest recorded use of a crystal pendulum was shown in a European cave painting which was carbon dated at 13,000 BC. A wall painting depicting a person using a forked stick was found in a cave in Northwest Africa which was dated at 8,000 BC. And in 2000 BC, an edict from Emperor Kuang Yu of China ordered a check on all building sites for homes for underground water veins, and we'll go into this later today, to avoid harmful energy. We are now using some of these same methods to avoid them. Cicero, who lived from 106 to 43 BC and who was one of the greatest public speakers of all times and a chief magistrate of Rome, wrote about the dowsing rod. Um, so this isn't anything new. It's just an ability that we've all had and we have, have to relearn to use. Uh, Einstein was a firm believer in dowsing and a lot of of uh, very um, famous men who were scientific still believed in dowsing. In recent times, more and more people have become interested in dowsing and have begun to realize that the uses for dowsing are just unlimited. Um, in 1976, the Smithsonian Institution had a traveling exhibit on parapsychology and it also included names of outstanding science who, scientists who support dowsing, including Einstein. We got started, uh, my grandfather was a dowser and I knew it, but I didn't pay a lot of attention, you know, kids just aren't always interested in. in um, we, we needed a, um, a water well, as I said, we're farmers, and we needed a well during a severe drought period to get our soybeans through just till harvest time. And so we had heard, Joe had heard about a fellow that lived over west of Tecumseh, which is about, he lives about 12 or 14 miles west of us, who was a dowser. So he called him up and he said, sure, he'd come over. And um, he said, um, do you have a soils, a soils map from the Farm Service Agency? And Joe said, yeah. So he went in and got it. Frank sits down at the table and drags out a pendulum. And he proceeds to go over this map. And I went in the other room and laughed. I said, that's the silliest thing I ever heard of. That, there's no way that can work. Well, I found out I was wrong. And um, so he, we did find a small well. It, um, it wasn't a huge irrigation well, but it got our soybeans through for the year. And that was all we were asking for, the main thing we were asking for. Um, before I, we show you some of the tools that we use and the ways we use them, I do want to say this. First of all, we always douse for the highest good for everyone concerned. That's the persons we're working for or and ourselves. Um, we never douse for evil or selfish gain. Greed can get in your way in a big way, and you won't get accurate answers. 